party people welcome to global trust right here in the heart of la i'm sitting next to donald who works for global trust so what is it that you do donald uh i'm primarily in sales but uh, also assist with a lot of special project um special projects now give us a rundown what is global trust and what do you guys do global trust is a manufacturer of trusting products uh, we introduced this line of products close to 10 years ago. And, you know, trusting's not anything new. It's been around for, you know, a number of years. There's, you know, a lot of different companies out there. But we're the first to bring it in, um, importing and doing the European style connection of trust. Now, for the guys out there that are not familiar with trusting as far as including it into their rig, into their normal setup. What are some of the products that you have for those guys, uh, the mobile DJs who do weddings and want to make it a little bit more presentable? We have numerous things. Uh, really, it comes down to the only thing that limits uh, a DJ in when it, when you call a when you call it a trust setup is their imagination. That's the only thing that limits it. Uh, but as far as naming products, uh, one of the most popular uh, systems uh, out there is called the Totem. And totem's a real simple concept. We have a base plate and a six foot or an eight foot piece of truss, and uh, that's it. It's it's real basic. But what's great about that is, in its simplicity, uh, the structure is held. You know, it it looks good for one with its you know satin aluminum finish. Uh, structurally, it's stable, and it also serves a purpose because the truss goes up six to eight. 10 feet goes above people's heads so you can mount light fixtures on it and that sort of thing and you can put covers over it too so it becomes a decorative element an added atmospheric kind of you know thing you know I'm trying to find good words but you know it just it's a it's a really it's simple but uh, effective The, the, that's the trend that I'm seeing now. A lot of guys are posting pictures of their uh, setups with trussing and using them as totems. Some as simple as just the truss itself. Others add a little bit of up light or a little uh, truss warmer or even with a little, uh, what do you call it, a skirt or a cover. Yeah, cover. And uh, it just adds so much more appeal to the whole setup. Uh, for the guys who, you know, just can't seem to get into their... Uh, budget or into their space because I don't know if it takes up a lot of space or a lot of time to set up what do you guys what do you suggest for those guys uh, well you know as far as setup time it's a very simple the fact that our European design and what that means is that it's a spigot design uh, one end of the truss whenever you uh, invest in truss one side of its male the other side's female so when you have the two pieces together it's a male to female connection the only uh, tool you need is a hammer so a pin goes through and you lock it in. Uh, ideally, if you're a mobile DJ, you obviously want to go with smaller pieces, right? And trussing sounds heavy, but in actuality, a 10-foot stick of truss only weighs 40 pounds. So I know there's plenty of powered speakers out there and things like that that are probably comparable in weight. So, you know, a 10-foot stick of truss is not really that heavy. So, you know, maybe, you know, a suggestion for a lot of the mobile DJs out there is to maybe break it up in two different pieces, you know, to create a, you know, a single design, that sort of thing. And that's kind of the appeal to me with uh, these systems now is that you're able to, uh, almost like an erector set, start off small and then be able to build up if you want to get, uh, and I'm just 
talking out of my butt here, but if I get like two five feet pieces that I can go ahead and add another five feet if I want to go higher, uh, is that something that you guys recommend too? Yeah, absolutely. We actually, in some of our sort of conversations with customers and uh, people that call up or via email or whatever it may be, um, we call these things Legos. You know, because, you know, when you were a kid, everybody had Legos, right? So uh, Legos are fun to, you know, play around with and that sort of thing. Um, in that same idea of what you're talking about, um, one popular uh, item that we carry is, is what's called a UJB. And it's a uni uh, universal junction block. And the idea behind that is that, you know, a cube is six different sides. So when you get a customer involved in a corner piece like that, even though they're only using two sides with their first investment, they can always sit there and imagine how oh, I can then go forward, back, up, this way, and that sort of thing. And that's what this product, you know, presents to people is endless possibilities. So, you know, when you have those mixers that are out there, there are 20 channels or 10 channels or whatever, there's always some sort of limitation, even though they add all those features. This, there absolutely is none, no limitations whatsoever. Excellent. Donald, it was a pleasure talking to you from Global Trust. How do people get a hold of you? Uh, me personally? Yeah. If they, if they want to stalk you, what's the best way to stalk you? Best way to stalk me is my Facebook page. No, <laughs> no, uh, do you have an email company address or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. They can email me at donaldh at globaltrust.com. Donaldh at globaltrust.com. And the website is globaltrust.com, right? Yep. Cool. All right, guys. So we're going to take a, f a tour of the Global Trust Company and going to take a couple of uh, examples of the trussing that they have available here. So don't go anywhere. CrossFitter Show coming at you. <laughs>